What's going on? This is Alan Brown, aka Bill of the Kid. And uh, this is going to be part one of a uh, two part upgrade series that I'm doing on this uh, Sterling by Music Man sub series Stingray 5. I've already taken the strings off so I can start off with a brand new set. Uh, this has already been upgraded with the Wilkinson pickup, but I do have a uh, better pickup from what I understand to go in here and I'm also going to be putting in an all day preamp for the electronic section. Everything else is going to stay stock. I was playing with the idea of taking all the hardware and the knobs and all that stuff and making it go, but I like the classic straight forward look of chrome on it. So I'm going to leave that alone for now, at least. Uh, yeah. So Aguilar pickup is going to be going in and that's what this part one is. Part two is going to be the Audair electronic swap out and then I'll be done with the whole thing. Uh, the strings that I'm using are MJC Ironworks. It's the uh, medium light stainless steel version. This is going to be the first time that I'm actually putting them on a base. I wanted to try them out. Well, I love their nickel version and uh, it's strung 45 to 125. Okay, so uh, I'll pop the top and then uh, we'll come back with what it actually sounds like in its semi-stock form right now, okay? All right, so we're back. And uh, I have my strings uh, already put on, all that good stuff. Like I said, I used MJCs. Came in this nice little tin and stuff like that. Has a pad to preserve the strings uh, life as it travels. So it always sounds crisp when you take it out of the tin. It's an awesome uh, little thing they came up with. And uh, I don't know what the tin top is, but anyway, the MJCs. So uh, these are stainless steel. It's my first time with them. So I'm kind of filling them out a little bit, just strung it up, just tuned it up, and uh, we're going to give it a listen to uh, how everything sounds. This is going to be, and I'm not going to use my face anymore because that's not important, but I'm going to do, um, this is the uh, volume, everything is in the center here, and I'm just going to do a little groove and then uh, see what happens. Let's back everything out. take the I think this is I think that's treble here and that's bass so let's take the treble uh, bass is at zero treble is back in the center see what we got Take treble all the way to 100. Okay, it's gonna back that all the way down. Let's take bass to, uh, I guess, center detent, which is like 50% of the whole thing. Treble is all the way off. Okay, 
Let's take bass and go all the way to 100. Let's take a uh, bass and treble and go to 100%. See what we got. All right. And now here's everybody's favorite time. <clears throat> including me slap stuff so let's go uh let's start from the very bottom with nothing on and then build from there so here we go Let's take treble and go back to center descent. Okay, we're going to do treble at 100% now. Take treble all the way out. Let's take bass to 50%. Okay, take bass at 100%. Let's take treble and bass at 100%. Come down off of volume a little bit. So yeah, this is what we got coming out the gate and hopefully it can only get better from here. So the next little video clip and stuff that you're going to see is the bass with the uh, pickup already installed, the Aguilar pickup already installed in the bass. And then I'll just go right into finger style stuff, uh, really quickly go through everything and then come back with some slap stuff. And that's going to conclude the video. Thank y'all for watching. Uh, and I'll see you in the next little clip in a few seconds. All right. So one thing that I did not uh, take into account for is that this spacing for the pickup is a little bit bigger than what this bridge can handle. So in order for me to get the spacing right for the uh, strings to go directly over the pole pieces, I'm going to have to get a bridge with a larger uh, spacing. So I got to do a little research and see which one this needs and uh i should be able to you know accommodate and uh get it that way uh when you do this you do run the risk of uh coming off of the fretboard on some places like the center line is right but i just need just a little bit more width here and i think i'll be okay i was moving it over to see if it was even possible and it is so uh, got to figure out what this is normally as far as millimeters and then go up maybe, I don't know, this might be 18 or 19 millimeters for this pickup. But let's hear what this thing actually sounds like, right? Now keep in mind, this bass string is not, this uh, B string is not directly over the pole. 
So it may not sound as good, but I'll give you a little demo about where we are and then uh, see what happens. All right, so this is gonna be uh, volume up and then tone, oh well, bass all the way out, treble all the way out, this is what we got. Let's go, um, let's go treble back in the center and I'll move it down just a little bit so you can see that. So I have treble back in detent, back in the center. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now let's take uh, treble and go all the way 100%. Okay, let's take uh, treble all the way out. Let's take bass to 50%. Treble all the way up, bass all the way up. See what we got here. So this is going to end uh, part one, uh, kind of, because I still have to go and find a situation for this. So uh, maybe next time you actually see this and I go to swap in the uh, preamp, hopefully I have a new bridge that makes the situation work just a little bit better. Yes, I'm going to lose this little piece that kind of has the music man thing, but all the guts are getting taken out. So really, it's not really much of a sterling anymore after I get done with this. So me swapping this out shouldn't be a big deal. You know what I'm saying? That's how I see it. So, uh, yeah, I got to do all the, well, I might just leave it alone so it's easier for me to take off and just keep those uh, little screws up. But yeah, so far, so good. 
successful thus far. And then uh, I'll see you in the next one, which will be part two uh, very soon. Till next time, I've been Alan Brown, aka Bullet the Kid. I'll be easy. <laughs>